Hello friends, it's Vic here and I'm sharing with you a process video for Lottie Loves Paper today. And I am using the lovely Bella Boulevard My Candy Girl collection. So to start I had these three photographs and I wasn't quite, quite sure which one I wanted to use on my layout. But I have decided to go with one of these two photos here. I think my daughter was about 18 months old on these. I'm not quite sure. Um, the photographs myself I haven't actually taken. Um, they were given to me by my mum. So I don't have the dates available for them. So epic fail as a scrapbooker there. Um, and I've had them printed out for ages and they've just been knocking around. So when I saw this collection and the colours, I knew that it'd be perfect to, um, to scrap these photos with. So you'll have seen that I have started by cutting apart some of the beautiful cut apart sheet. I absolutely love that vibrant green colour. I thought that went perfectly with Isabella's dress that she had and the busy floral paper also tied in nicely with the pops of pink that she had on. As you can see I was having a little bit of trouble with my paper cutter and that was a continuing theme throughout the whole of this process video. Um, for some reason it's decided it doesn't want to cut properly today and I've had a look to see if there's little bits of paper stuck in there but can't find any reason for it so please excuse if I keep trimming bits of paper as we go along. Now I really wanted something to back my design with but I felt that the bold red was too much however it did tie in nicely with um, the pops of red on Isabella's sun hat there so what I've done is I've created a frame with some of that gorgeous red paper love how rich the colour is and because as I said my paper trimmer was playing me up something rotten today I decided that I would distress around the edge of my white cardstock and this piece of red paper as well. So that is hiding a multitude of sins but it also has added some texture to my layout. Now I'm going to mount this onto another piece of white cardstock so I'm just doing a couple of dots as you can see there with my pencil and then gutting my background piece of cardstock out so that I can use that later on to back my photograph with. Now backing my photos I don't normally do because when I print them out I have a white border around them already but because my mum had given me these photographs and then the paper cutter was ripping it all I ended up with no white border at all so that is why I've used some white cardstock to map my photo with. So we're just sticking this panel on now with some double sided tape and a really cool way of using this is by just folding over some of the cover of that um, tape and that way it just allows you to move your bits around the page a bit more before sticking down for real. So I've got my basic layout design now and the fun bit is coming where I can start to think about embellishing my page. So I'm going to make use of some of the chipboard um, pieces in the collection and I love that little bit of border strip there so that's going to go on and help ground my photograph. I did wonder about maybe cutting it in half and splitting it around the page but I decided it worked quite nicely um, underneath the photograph as it is. So I've cut that lovely piece of bright green. I've just, oh, it's lovely. It's so bright and vibrant. It really sort of, to my mind, brings the page together. I really love it. So I've ended up snipping the end off of that. And then I'm going to put the piece that I've cut tucked underneath the left-hand side of my photograph there, just to bring that green um, spotty panel across. And by doing that, it's not quite as busy as that floral paper in the background there. And that will enable me to add more embellishments on top of it without those getting lost on that busy floral paper. So for me, this is quite a simple layout. 
um, I don't normally go for blocks like this unless I'm doing a grid design and I really love how it's turning out. So really all there was for me to do now was to think about my title which I'm just using some simple stories um, I think they're called colour vibe stickers for and I thought the reds in that match perfectly with the red in the collection so I've decided that because my daughter is eating strawberries when she was that age she could not stop eating strawberries and raspberries or anything and I if I remember rightly, we'd gone out for the day um, to a craft fair somewhere and we bought a punnet of strawberries and I think she ate nearly the whole punnet of strawberries. She just couldn't get enough of them. And this photograph that my mum had taken absolutely caught her in the moment of um, shoveling them in her mouth. <laughs> so it, as well as the colours going nicely with this collection, as you can see, I've just gone through all the little bits of ephemera there that I think would go nicely with them. Um, my design and there were some strawberries in the ephemera and chipboard um, packs for this collection and they were just perfect they tied in nicely so that was another reason for um, scrapping this photograph with this collection so just moving things around a little bit and I love the bunting up the top left it's just the right size to go from one edge to the other of that floral paper I've got a couple of those um, chocolate dipped strawberries and I felt that I needed to bring a bit of yellow into it. So I've got um, a lovely phrase on a yellow arrow at the bottom underneath my Berrylicious. And it says, you're my favorite thing about every day. And Isabella just brings joy to us every single day, even though now she's like 15 and a half. Um, she was a fabulous baby and although everyone would say that about their children because they're biased, but she really was. She never stopped smiling and full of fun and a zest for life, and she's still that way now. So I wanted to add a little bit more for my title, and I thought of just adding the word simply. Now, I've popped that onto the green there, but it was looking a little bit lost, so I'm just raising it up and sticking it directly onto my cardstock. So I've swapped one of the um, ephemera strawberries, one of the chipboard ones there, and I think I prefer it because it's more white um, and it just helps calm things down a little bit because it's quite busy paper that I've picked up for this. Now, because I've got that big, bold bit of yellow on the bottom right-hand side, I'm just trying to bring some yellow into the layout in other areas. So we've got a little bit on the banner there, um, and I've added a yellow chipboard heart with a little uh, tab saying my girl which I thought was quite cute and then I'm just bringing in some um, florals as well because she had florals on her dress and her sun hat and by doing that I can add another pop of yellow there with one of the flowers so it really is just a case of a few finishing touches now a few puffy stickers to help pull everything together and I've raised up my too cute piece of ephemera and some of the strawberries with some foam pads just to bring it to the same level as my photograph because I back that on some foam as well and the layout is pretty much done now I do apologize because my camera um, ran out of power just as I was um, about to finish the layout so I apologize for that in advance but I've literally just added a black line around the inside white piece of cardstock just around the edge so it's like a little black fine line border and also added a tiny bit of journaling around there as well and I've written I can't remember when this photo was taken because I didn't have the dates um, but you've always loved berries so thank you very much for joining me today this has been Vic from at forever scrapping and I hope to see you all again soon thanks then bye <laughs>